Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm a Cyber Rev Guru. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. So I'm uh, out traveling uh, for work and I'm sitting here in this hotel room. Thought I would have uh, nothing better to do but to uh, make some videos for you all. And so recently I sent a package to the 3D printing nerd, uh, Joel Telling, who is the, uh, you know, kind of mecha god of all 3D printing things. And so uh, it was a nice cutting board. It was, uh, you know, kind of square with a handle and a little flower inlay. And I happened to uh, capture some video of me kind of um, cutting it out with the CNC machine and then putting it together. It's not a complete video, so don't think it's like a kind of end-to-end -end sort of tutorial on how to do this, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. And so, you know, I'm sitting here. I have... Uh, wine in a plastic glass <laughs> um, it's okay uh, I'm not sad so I hope you enjoy the video uh, and let's get to it thanks everyone
Okay, so one last thing I forgot to show everyone is when I was cutting the cutting board and I put in the uh, the engraving bit to create the chamfer, um, the uh, z-axis of the Shapeoko X-Carve uh, came loose. I, I didn't know what was going on when it was cutting. Um, it, it, it went down the, uh, the left hand side around the bottom It started making the loop around the right hand side and it started going kind of wonky and I heard a lot of chattering going on and then I noticed that it was cutting significantly further into the uh, cutting board than I thought that it should have been and I didn't think a whole lot of it and then I ran the uh, inside circle the chamfer that inside circle and then I noticed that it was uh, the the top left hand side was fine and then the bottom right hand side was significantly off center and uh, that's when I realized something was oh, hugely wrong so I uh, uh, it, the cut finished I uh, kind of moved the machine out of the way and I noticed that it was very very loose and so this next video is going to show you the uh, z-axis um, and the, the, the bolt had come loose on one of the wheels. Uh, there's four wheels that hold the, the z-axis onto, or hold the, uh, the, the router onto the z-axis, and one of them on the left, uh, let's see, it would have been the uh, right-hand side, no, left-hand side, left-hand side, <laughs> um, came loose, and then um, it caused it to be a little wonky, but it all worked out in the end. So let's cut to the video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, you can see we kind of uh, cut uh, the parts from the base and then milled the uh, inlay and then pushed the inlay in and glued it all together and then uh, sanded it. I uh, didn't uh, show any video of the actual sanding, but you saw the final product and then we oiled it up. And so it was nice and shiny and super smooth and awesome, uh, just like Joel. And so I hope, uh, Joel, if you see this video, that uh, the Mrs. Nerd uh, likes the cutting board and uh, hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.